Hey man, that versus battle, it was pretty damn good though. It was filled with, you know, a lot of smack talking. I mean, that's what they do in New York. New York, New York. And yeah, they got a lot of rappers out there. You know, Fat Joe, uh, Nas, 50 Cent, Jay-Z, Cameron, so on and so forth. Big names, you know, before that it was Biggie, you know, Big Pun, Busta Rhymes, DMX. A lot of stars out there, but this versus battle was, you know, Ja Rule versus Fat Joe. And I grew up on them, you know, like, with, you know, Ja Rule, like his hits, every time... I started my middle school year or high school year. He always had like an album coming out, a hit song out. Like I'm not the biggest fan, but he did. He had a lot of hits, man. He played at the uh, verses. You know, he beat Fat Joe, in my opinion. You know, Fat Joe had a lot of good stuff. You know, features. Um, you know, songs by itself too. I thought he tried to do a little too much. You know, with uh, he tried to be like Jada Kiss. You know, try to. You know, he tried to just do, do a little too much, but he, he wanted to win. He's competitive. New York, other than the Bay, you know, like like New York and the Bay, like we got a lot in common. We both got major swag with big egos. You know, that's just how we are, you know. But yeah, like New York, hey, that was a good show. You know, that, you know, they've been doing it at the, at the, you know, big NY, but, but yeah, Ja Rule brought, brought out Ashanti, Lil Mo Vita, but yeah, that was wrong of Fat Joe, man, he's wrong for saying, um, you call what, like, Lil Mo and Vita, Dusty Bitches or something like that, come on, don't say that, I mean, they have so many, like, I mean, like, their voices, is amazing, you know. Even Lil Mo, you know, like she was on Fabulous hit single Superwoman. You know, that came out when I was a what, freshman. So yeah, you know, Lil Mo, you know, she, she been doing it, you know, or she did it at, at one point in time. But and, and I will give Ja Rule credit. Hey, Fifty Cent. I mean, he 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 destroyed Ja Rule's career though. He destroyed him though, you know. He did. Of God, he destroyed the whole label. Even Game be like, yeah, Fifty Cent. He oh, he he took down the whole label by himself. And yeah, Fifty Cent, you know, he he posts on his Instagram saying, because after Irv God, he's you know, this was this is Fifty Cent. You know, Fifty responded. He was like, he was like, man, he was like, I, I, I put the whole label out of business. I wouldn't want to mess with me either. If I would, I would stay out of my way if I wasn't me. <laughs> You know, 50 always got to be petty. You know, he's time petty, but I, yeah, yeah, that's what I love about uh, that's what I love about him though. But anyway, this Ja Rule and Fat Joe uh, versus it was, it was pretty, it was pretty off the off the chain though, man. I enjoyed all the other hits. They both had a lot of bangers, street singles, stuff for the club, for the ladies. You know, j you know, but <laughs> despite the, all the hits, Ja Rule, you know. He, he's going to be known for getting bombed on by 50. You know, 50 Cent, he, he, he ended his career, you know, Back Down and I Smell Pussy and all them songs like that. Like, I'm just saying. Like, he, he tore him up, didn't he? But that's what he did to Fat Joe at the verses, though. And, 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 and I ain't going to lie, like, he, he did. Like Fat Joe, those comments were horrible. And then you try, and then you trying, you know, those comments to Vita and Lil Mo and all that. That was those horrible. And then you try to be Jada Kiss up there. Duh, 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 duh. You know, those are like two strikes right there for different reasons. And then you really don't. I mean, Ja Rule's kind of right when he said, "You came before me, and you still, you know, doing it after me, and you still ain't caught up, nigga." In a way, that's right. In a way, that's right. <laughs> real, real ish. He right about that. No cap. 
as, as the as a lot of people say nowadays, no cap. But yeah, shout out to uh, you know the verses, man. It's been good. It's been good. Fat Joe took that L like the uh, Dipset did to the locks. How Young Jeezy did the uh, Gucci man. And how my Bay Area boys did it. E40 and Too Short. Nobody really won that. They both had so many hits. But independently though. In independently though, man. But Short Dog and E40. But yeah, so. Hey, in, in, in a way, Ja Rule was the first Drake. Like a darker version. You know, like from a singing, like, because Fat Joe was like, oh, you a singing nigga. And then, you know, Ja Rule, he's like, you getting bodied by a singing nigga. Because, and, 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 he, and he used that line by Drake when he did the, when he told that to Meek Mill. And it's a trip because Ja Rule is like the original uh, Drake. You know, doing all the sing song stuff. He make a little hard records too. Yeah, good verses. And I'm a 50 Cent fan. More, way more. I don't like Ja Rule at first, but 50 came onto the scene, just blew, blew him out. Diss records, hit records, street records, you name it. So I want to see 50 Cent go against Jay Z. That'd be a good one. But 50, but 50 Cent don't want, don't want to do the verses. Fat Joe did an offer him, you know. He was like, hey, he was like, I'll, I'll offer him a, uh, you know. I'll offer to, you know, go go hit for hit. But yeah, man. Ja Rule did his thing. Man got a lot of hits. Can't even front. He was up there, though. In fact, Joe was saying a little slick stuff to him. You got all this sing song shit. You got all this sing song. All you're doing is singing. Hey, he's the original Drake. It's a trip because he has all these hit, all these hits. He's the original Drake, and then people aren't even gonna really like, look at him like that. I'm like, oh, 50 ended his career. Damn. But on the real though, because every time I hear, you know, I mean, there's a term you got you got jaw ruled. You know that means you got your stuff ended. You got bombed on some, you know, kind of like in football. They say you got mossed, you know, when Randy Moss like jumps up, snatches it. You got mossed, you know. In music, it's like you got Ja Rule. Am I right? Am I spitting facts? I think I am. But that was dope. That was dope versus though, man. Just hearing the hits, the energy, it was great. It was great out there, man. But I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a 50 one, 50 cent. You know, T.I. thinks 50 scared, but he's not. 50 Cent can, his whole, I mean, his whole mixtapes, his early mixtapes, he, he can go versus on that. He has super duper bars. 50 can make any, any kind of song, but. But yeah, he, he, he's king of New York. I, 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 I'll get into that in another post. But on the real, y'all, that was, that was a great versus, wasn't it? I, I, I give it a high grade. So yeah, you know, hey, hit the like and subscribe button, y'all. That was what I got to say about the verses. Ja Rule vs. Fat Joe, Bronx vs. what, Hollis Queens? Yeah. So, Murder Inc. and Terror Squad right there. But yeah, like and subscribe, y'all. I'm going to keep hearing these facts. Like and subscribe.